up to California from Mexico you come to the Sacramento Valley to toil in the sun your wife and seven children they're working every one and what will you be given to your brown nine children of the sun the brown eyed children of the sun it was a poem that was sent by two young chicanos from la i read the poem and i heard a bolero that's what i heard your face is blind and wrinkled i mean it, it represented something to me that was very personal it brings back memories of being a kid and watching your mother and father work what will you be giving to your brown-eyed children of the sun? Is that question for the future, for the future generation? Oh, children's eyes are smiling. Their lives have just begun. And what will you be giving to your brown-eyed children of the sun? We were born in a farm near Yuma, Arizona. That farm was a homestead that my grandfather homesteaded when he came to Yuma. But during the Depression, they lost it because they didn't have enough money to pay the taxes. And so we moved to California and became migrant farm workers. Yeah, it was very hard when we left Arizona. And here we come to California. Oh my God, I said, this is a different world for us you know, from one field to the other, and from farm, and living in a tent, in the car, whatever we could, because, you know, we didn't know any better. Caesar, he was always, because we worked in the fields, and he was just, I'm so mad at these people, the way they treat us, somebody has to help us. And I remember him clearly, clearly saying, said, somebody ought to do something about this, this is not right, somebody ought to do something about it. Not knowing that four years later, he was gonna be, he was going to be the one who was going to be doing something about it. And that's how it, how it started to me. You're a free man, and this heritage is one that you can be given to your brown-eyed children of the sun. 